Okay, in this video we're going to start computing probabilities for distribution of sample means. And we're going to, we're going to go with this um, situation. It says, for a normal population with a mu of 60 and a standard, devi standard deviation of 12, what's the probability of selecting a random sample of 36 people with a sample mean greater than 64? Um, and so what we're trying to do here is trying to find um, the probability, right, of the mean score being greater than 64. So that's our, our goal there, okay? So we have a couple equations. I have your, S, or you have your standard error of the sample mean. And um, again, just kind of keep in mind that some um, textbooks use um, M as the sample mean, and some use this X bar, right? Um, they mean the exact same thing. So if you see X bar anywhere else, you're going to see it in the videos. Um, I might slip up and, and call that sometimes too, that's the way I was taught, but grab it or um, Aaron, a lot of textbooks use M now, and that's fine too. So um, standard um, error is this um, uh, symbol right here, right? This is standard error. And we're trying to say, okay, um, what is the, what is that? We well, get standard deviation divided by square root of n, right? And then once you have that, you can put that number in the denominator part of your new z formula, okay? So we're going to have a normal distribution or assumed to be normal distribution with a mu of 60 and a standard deviation, right, of 12. So at one standard deviation, it would be um, 72, right? So our standard deviation here um, is 12. Okay, so we're being asked if we grab 36 um, people and, um, and they take part in a study, and at the end of the study, they have a average score of 64. Is that, um, what's the probability of that happening just kind of, you know, by chance or whatever? Okay, so we're going to um, first calculate the standard error of the, of the mean, right? So um, uh, let's go 12, right, because that's, um, that's our standard deviation, right? So we're, gonna, we're doing um, the standard error of the mean. So standard deviation divided by square root of n. So we have 12 divided by square root of 36, or 12 divided by 6. So we have um, 2. Right? And again, I always keep all my bits of information over here on the left-hand side. It's cleaner for me. Um, it's just a kind of a nice way to kind of keep everything. Okay, So um, we're looking for a, a distribution um, I don't know, that's kind of on, on, on this side of the line, right? On this side of the, of the, of the um, mu. Okay, so we're going to try to find out, well, um, it, it, we're looking for the proportion that's greater right, than the specific mean. So what's the probability of, if, of pulling a, a population of 30, or a sample of 36 that would have a mu of um, 64 versus this just mu of 60, or mean of 64, sorry. Okay, so now let's go on to do our z, right? So our z equals um, mean minus mu divided by the estimated standard error of the mean. Right here we have, so um, we have 64, minus 60 was our average, right, for the population, divided by 2. So 4 divided by 2. So we have a z-score of positive 2.00, okay? So um, that's a really high z-score. So get out your unit normal table and look up um, tail, right, because we're trying to find out, um, because our new distribution of sample means from just the sample, not the population, has a has their average kind of closer like right here, right? So they're they're gonna kind of peak up here and then come back down. Right? So um, it's gonna be shifted over to that side. So we look in the tail. We need to look in this side of it, right? So um, when we have z equaling two um, a proportion in the tail all right, so when z equals, um, oops, let me, let me do that. So when z equals um, 2, then the proportion, all right, in the tail is equal to 0 0.0228. Um, and 0 0.0228 can also be expressed as a percentage, right? So we have um, 2... Ooh, that looks bad too. Sorry about that. 
So we have 2.28%. Um, and so um, our proportion, 0.0228, or 2 2.28%. So what we're saying is the probability of us just randomly pulling a sample of 36 people and they're scoring so much higher than the population mu, it's, it's possible, it's highly improbable that we have a 2.2% chance of just doing that by itself. Right. This is how you compute probability for distribution of sample means when you have um, a known mu and how to find both the um, standard error first and then using this modified um, Z formula.